I want to move on to another issue and ask both of you about this. You know, we talk about George Orwell sometimes on these programs. We talk about thought crime. And now it seems that thought crime is an actual reality in Britain, where a woman was arrested in Birmingham for standing still and saying a prayer to herself. They arrested her on the grounds of a council order that no one within 150 meters of an abortion clinic could be seen to be giving outward approval or disapproval towards the practice. Otherwise, it's a criminal offense. Now, uh, Pri, I'm going to start with you. Am I missing something, or is silent prayer now dangerous to life? What What is happening in Britain? Well, Britain's going to the dogs, as we know, and now we have thought police, people who can see into our minds and, uh, and understand what we're thinking, which may be up yours, mate, but that's another story. But I just think it's really appalling that uh, we are getting to this stage in, in our lives, and not just in London, it's happening everywhere, that politicians have now are so authoritarian they've put in laws that make them have more power we've seen them their power grab through through the coward the covid period and they love it and this is a thin edge of the wedge and i just feel very sorry for this woman uh but it's i feel sorry for the rest of us the rest of us who are sane who are being dominated by this insanity this wokeness yeah, yeah absolutely right now Let's move on here. Uh, Daisy, what, what do you think, actually, of that? I'd love to hear your opinion as well. Uh, well, I think it's completely, completely terrifying. I mean, I, I don't support the idea of, of buffer zones at all around abortion clinics. Mm. I think so long as people aren't being, you know, violent or harassing, they should be allowed to make their voices known, I, either for or against. It's a contentious issue, and I'm sorry, people are going to have an opinion about it, and they have a right to protest. So this is, you know, she, she's literally been arrested for praying silently. And, they, like, it took a copper coming up to her and saying, do you happen to be praying? And she said, well, I might be. And he said, well, guess what, mate? You're under arrest. I mean, that, that is so completely terrifying, James. And the irony of it is that the people who will likely be cheering this on, you know, the, the mad left pro-abortion, um, you know, group, they are the same ones who would scream to the rooftops at the New York, the new laws that the UK <laughs> has introduced uh, to combat radical climate protesters. I, I mean, it's this massive double standard there, but th th this is completely terrifying and totally outrageous. I'm so sorry for this poor woman. The brilliant point, Daisy, about the climate protesters, but let's stay in Britain for a second and talk mm -hmm. about a bit of royal Oil news and Meghan Markle herself exposing herself as a liar once again after a clip emerged of her performing a curtsy on the show Suits. Now that's despite her telling us that she didn't know how to do this in the DACA. We don't have much time, so I want to stick, you know, just we won't show the clips, but Prue, what are your thoughts on this? Well, she's an actress, James, so you know, she was performing for the Netflix cameras. Harry didn't like it. We all know she's a liar, so I don't think she's got any credibility whatsoever. And Daisy, um, the, it seems that the royal family's own uh, Sophie Winkleman has become the first to speak out against Meghan and Harry's Netflix series. Now, Sophie is an actress herself who married into the royal family, just like Meghan made a subtle reference to the documentary in her latest Spectator article, writing how honored she is to know such a hardworking, brave, and good family as those occupying Buckingham Palace. Daisy, is it great that we're starting to hear something from the royals in response to this, or should they just stay st silent on this? I think in the case of Sophie Winkleman, um, I think if, if anyone's going to say something about it, it's great that she is, because as you said, she's an actress marrying into the family just like Meghan. Might I add, she is a much, much better actress than Meghan Markle. I recommend everyone watch the show Peep Show, uh, Peep show which Sophie is in. Really, really wonderful. But I love the fact that uh, she did it, and she didn't do it on Twitter in some undignified way. She wrote a very dignified column for The Spectator and laid out her case. So uh, good on Sophie Wink Winkleman. I'm very glad that she has said something uh, in, in such a tactful way about this. Daisy Cousins, Prue McQueen, thank you so much for your time and Merry Christmas to you both.